Mm. These. Before I do this, does anybody need one of these blue sheets? Anybody need one? You're going to need one of these today. Okay. Pass them back there, please. Okay, so real quick, I'd like to see put all your any any potential distraction, put it away. Put it away. Let's that, that's that's another thing I'll tell you that I think is really important to do is to, it, when you're going to work, this is what I always tell my own kids, don't prolong this. I don't think it's, I don't think it's advantageous to do anything for a long period of time. I think you're much better off doing short, intense periods of study and then putting it away and doing other stuff that's, you know, being with your friends and family. That's, that's just, but that's key, is, is just being efficient about it and getting it done. Don't study in front of the TV, go someplace where it's quiet. You know, get it done, put it away. Uh, when you're in class, this is huge. When you're in class, just force yourself to say, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna really plug into this, so I get it, and then you know, the homework will be fine. Um, so what we want to do here, this is from three three. I hate saying three point three, you know, chapter three, section three. That's the one. Here's how we can summarize all that stuff. That's the section where all the relationships that we have are the ones that start off by saying, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then something's true, right? Uh, <clears throat> so those are the ones we're going to use here. Well, we don't even really need it to find x, do we? If we want to find the measure of x, that's really something that we already knew even from like chapter 1. If I just have two lines that intersect, what's the relationship between those angles? X plus 80 equals 180, right. There, what do we call that? What are those? What do we call that? Linear pair. Linear pair, good. And we know that if two angles form a linear pair, they're supplementary, meaning they add to 180. So what's X going to be? 100. Yeah, because if X plus 80 equals 180, so it must be 100, right? And we could set up an equation to solve that if we want to. We probably don't even need to. What about Y, though? What's going to be the, the, the relationship between Y and... And 80. What do we call that? Okay, good. Alter how come? They're alternate exterior. How come? Why are they alternate? Okay, opposite sides of the transversal. Good. And exterior because they're outside the two lines. Good. So then fill in the blank. If parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate exterior angles are congruent. Yeah, they're congruent. So what's Y? What's the measure of Y? 80. We got it. Good. Okay, how about that guy? Okay, so this is one, this is a little trickier, right? We want to solve for x here, but is there an obvious immediate relationship between that angle and that angle? And they don't really fit neatly, do they? They're not corresponding, they're alternate, but they're one of them's interior, one of them's exterior. They don't immediately relate, so we're gonna to have to do this maybe in a couple steps. And the best way to do these is to draw the picture on paper and then just kind of fill in blanks. Okay, so take a second real quick and see if you can, you can kind of fill in a few blanks and solve for x. I'm going to take roll real quick. So ideas. What might be an easy, okay, what do you think? Yeah. Um, okay, good. Very good. Now, how did you? That, that's the correct answer. That's the equation we can use to set it up. That's one way we can do it. How'd you get that? Where, where did you? You must have recognized that another angle was also had a measure of 94. So, so meaning, if this one's 94, what, what's going to be the relationship that allows me to get another one that's 94? Thanks. You, you must have thought that one probably right. Yeah, and then how come, what do we call those angles? Vertical, Vertical angles. angles, good. So that must be, whoops. So that must be. And 
94. Very good. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so then, then you must have thought, Danny, you must have thought these two right here are the ones that are supplementary. Good job. What do we call those? Consecutive interiors, right? Because they're consecutive because they're on the same side of the transversal interior because they're inside the lines. And you'll have access on the test to this blue sheet, which summarizes everything, but probably don't need it. Fill in the blanks. And by the way, there's actually, I actually had a mistake on here for this one. I've, I've updated on Moodle, I updated the online version, but I haven't printed out new ones yet. Okay, but it's, it says it incorrectly on here, but you tell me correctly. Fill in the blank. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then consecutive interior angles are so what? Supplementary, not congruent. It says congruent on there, but that's wrong. It's supplementary. That's what it says in the book. So then, if these are supplementary, we could add, we could create the equation 13x minus 5 plus 94 must add up to 180, and I could just solve for x, right? Make sense? Okay. Uh, any other ideas? What else could we do? Maybe another way we could approach That was great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that one. But just to illustrate, you could have done this many ways. What would that angle there have to be? Oh, true. True. We'd, it'd be 13x minus 5. But how is it related? What is this 94 degrees here? What, what's the actual measure of that angle right there? And why? Or 91, sorry. Right? No. 91. No, whatever it was. 180 minus, because they have to add up to 180, don't they? 180 minus 94 would be 86. Good. Okay, and now, Tyler, what, what, could I, what could I say now? If I know that one's 86, how could I relate that angle and that angle? Go ahead. How is that related to 86? What do I call those angles? Say it again. Oh, that's fine. Okay, but that's okay. We, I mean, I, you, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but let's just look at this this one way for a second. What do I? What's their relationship? That angle and that angle. Alternate interiors. Good. And we know that if these lines are parallel, then alternate interiors are what? Congruent. Congruent. Good. So I could also have said 13x minus 5 equals 86, right? Solved it that way. Either way, we're going to get the same answer. Right? If I, and what would I get if I add 5? Let's do it this way. If I add 5, I get 91, right? Divide by 13 and get x equals 7, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, right here. Got one question? Sorry, you have a question? Yeah, we were just solving for x. Yeah, that's all we wanted to do. Right, just solve for x. Should have written that probably. Okay, what about here? Yes. Hang on, everybody up here, please. Focus up here. Okay, so are is it possible to prove they're parallel? Okay, yes. Now on Moodle, it's going to ask for two parts. It's going to say yes or no. Is it possible? And if so, what's what's the reason going to be? You're going to do a lot of questions like this. That's where this sheet comes in handy. Every, all the answers are on this sheet. They're going to be the underlined, boldface reasons. Okay, so for this one, I'll give you a hint. It's going to be on the very last page. Okay, these are the ones. Give me one sec. Uh, so, on uh, on this, we've kind of shifted gears a little bit, right? We actually moved those last problems that we did. All they they all kind of fit the situation where we were given that the lines are parallel, right? If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then a bunch of things are true. This is a little different. Notice that on these, we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that the lines are parallel. So this is actually the next section, but it's almost the same thing. These are all the statements that say, if some relationship is true, then the lines are parallel. So those are all the ones, we call those the converses. 
So those are the ones that show up on the very bottom of page three and on page four. So what's the one? What's what's the reason that's going to show us that those lines M and N are parallel? Alternate exterior angles. Very good. Yeah. So these are alternate exterior angles because they're congruent. And remember, that's what that symbol means, right? If I have that one arc in each angle, that's telling us that those are congruent, so their measures are equal. And so if they're congruent, then we know that the lines are parallel. And that's what we input into Moodle then. We'd actually write that out. The alternate exterior angle converse is the answer. Okay, That's what it's looking for. Uh, what about that one? This is a little tricky. This one's a little tricky. It looks right away like it should work, doesn't it? But is there a direct relationship between those two angles? It's one of those ones that's not, it's not immediately, there's no immediate connection. They're not corresponding angles. They're alternate, but one of them is exterior and one is interior, right? And so they don't really fit right away. So we're going to have to maybe fill in another blank on our picture. What's another angle that we could say is, is obviously congruent to that, that top one? The vertical. the vertical angle, right? So we know that through the vertical angles connection, how to do that? Through the vertical angles connection, this one has to also be congruent, right? Now, what about these two right here? Those do have a relationship. What do we call those? The consecutive interiors. Consecutive interiors. Okay, now. If consecutive, if we want these lines to be parallel, what does the relationship have to be with consecutive interiors? They're not congruent, they're supplementary. Well, does it tell us they're supplementary here? It doesn't. It just tells us they're congruent, right? So do they have to be parallel? No, they don't. Remember that it doesn't matter, even though it might look like the lines are parallel, that's meaningless, right? In geometry, the picture can be totally backwards and deceiving. That's, we can't base it on what it looks like. It has to be the information on the picture. Yes, ma'am? That's where it's wrong on your thing. That's where it's wrong on my, yeah, that's where it's wrong on the list. I'll print new ones, but the one online, if you go to the course resources, the reasons list, it's been corrected on there. But you might write it on yours right now. It should say the consecutive interior angles converse. Scratch out the word congruent and write supplementary. And do the same thing on page three for the consecutive interior angles theorem at the bottom. Scratch out, congruent, and write supplementary. Okay, does that make sense? So the answer to this one would be no. We can't. Okay. It didn't show us that those two angles were supplementary. All right. Let's see if we can get through maybe one more. When are we at? 35? Is that right here today? Oh, okay, we can get two more. So what about this one? Is it possible to prove that these lines are parallel? Yes. No. Sure looks like it, doesn't it? No. Okay. Ah, I heard a no. You say no? Yeah. You say, oh, well, who said no? Oh, Justin? Yeah. Okay, how come? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, because there's, you don't know. Look, watch, please. Go ahead. You don't know the angles on the other side. Yeah. Honestly. We don't know anything about A, do we? We don't know anything about the relationship between A and this line. We don't know. There's no angle information. So is although it looks like they're parallel, they don't have to be. It could be that maybe maybe line A actually, oh gosh, how many times am I going to do that? Uh, it could be that, that line A really looks like that. We don't know. There's, it doesn't tell us anything about the angles. So the answer to this one is, no. How about that one? Nice. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, last one. Probably last one for today, I bet. This is going to take a little bit of thinking. So just take a look at that, puzzle about it for a second. Here are some yeses. Yeah. Let's yes. see if, okay, I'll, I'll tell you the answer is yes, but see if you can come up with an answer. You can work with a neighbor if you want to, but just take a second. Alternate. <laughs> 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 I just watched you guys. 
Okay, what do you get? Oh, here we go. Hang on. Okay, now there's going to be, there's kind of a kicker on this one. Moodle, yeah, there's going to be an extra piece of this. On Moodle, you're right, it's going to be alternate exterior angles converse. We'll talk about why in a second. But there's going to be another, on Moodle, when you look at this problem, it's going to say list, if there's more than one reason, provide them both, and, you know, separate them with a comma or something like that. There actually are, there's two steps to this. You're right in saying that 114 and then this angle down here, this big angle, those are alternate exteriors, aren't they? This whole angle and 114. And if they are congruent, then the lines must be parallel. And we can show that. How did, how did we show that, though? What did we do? We have to prove, we have to prove how that 48 plus 60. Ah, okay, good. We had to add these angles up, didn't we? We added the measures up, and 66 plus 48 is 114. Right, Dalton? Yep. Okay, so if that's if that's 114, then we can say that all because they're alternate exteriors and they're congruent, the lines are parallel. But what's the reason? Because we have to provide both reasons for this. What's the first thing we did? What's the reason that allows us to add up angles and get and add the measures up to find the find the big angle measure. Yeah. Give you a hint, it's on the very first page, a little bit below the halfway point. Segment edition. Not segment edition, uh, angle edition. So the first reason, <laughs> angle edition postulate. Okay, what would Dalton, what was the second part? First part was angle addition postulate. That's what allowed us to add those two up. Alternate exterior. Yeah, okay. Alternate. Chance. Exterior. <laughs> angle. Converse. All right. 